<clears throat> okay, it's uh, November uh, uh, 6th evening. We're praying for America, uh, the outcome of the election <clears throat> to be uh, Christian, conservative, uh, patriot, sane, sanity, good, right, and, and not evil and left wing and Democrat, Democrat, demon crap, whatever, and all their children of the devil mess. So pray for the America, that God uh, can save America, heal it, deliver it. Uh, that would, for that to happen, enough people have to repent. That's what we need. <clears throat> Amen. But anyway, I'm going on to another topic. You know, Jesus said he is the truth. He says he's the way, truth, and the life. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. The word of God is the word of truth. Uh, God is truth. Um, the devil is a liar. <clears throat> and the people of the world, they don't, most of them don't understand truth. Many of them do not believe in truth. Many believe in universalism and like no absolutes. People try to make up their own things. The Bible says there was an evil time when people did whatever was right in their own eyes, their own sight, their own opinion. <clears throat> That's where we're at, and it's trying to get worse, but we need to stop it. But anyway, uh, the Bible says that if you ab abide in the word of God, his word and live by it, you'll know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Free from steal, kill, destroy. Free from the, 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 the devil and his works and attacks and schemes and deceptions and, and his uh, evil. <clears throat> his sicknesses, disease, lack, uh, damage, the division, destruction, and all his mess. If you so get in the Bible, memorize the Bible, renew, be transformed by renewing your mind, memorize the Word of God, and um, choose to live by it. Get filled with the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, and then not only the the the, the written logos word that you read, you should read it every day, the Bible, and memorize it. Not only that written word, but the 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 uh, right now word that God will will speak to you or show you, reveal to you, give you an impression, a thought, an unction, a knowing, a feeling in your mind and heart, your spirit, soul, mind and heart about what to do about a thing, <clears throat> and that's the 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 rhema word of God revealed to you in you, but you might hear it through another person, you might read it or see it or you look at something and God shows you an understanding and a meaning by something you're looking at so um but it's just you you know it in your mind and your heart your, your spirit soul this is what to do this is what God is saying about this so there's the, you know that word of God from the Bible that you read and you 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 know you hear you listen to you memorize it but then the 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 the, the moment by moment specific to a specific need or situation, the Holy Spirit will, will reveal in, in, in you uh, uh, another word. It's a rhema word. Anyway, you need to know those things. It says if you abide and live by the word, those words of God, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. So truth is vital. Uh, <clears throat> one pagan leader in the Bible says, what is truth? He was saying he didn't believe there was absolute truth, but there is. And uh, <clears throat> he's the way that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of truth. Heaven is of, of truth. Uh, the way of God is truth. The word of God, uh, like I said, the written and the rhema word will show you how to find and stay in living in the kingdom of God, in the narrow way that leads to life. And so, um, but I see so many Christians uh, a lot of churches, a lot of leaders, a lot of the whole uh, mental and structure of a church, the, the value system of a church. Many times, not always, I see uh, people are they don't they don't want to speak the truth. Uh, they're afraid of the truth. Just admit it. It's like the you go go and read and study or watch online the Emperor's New Clothes, and that's it, right there. Uh, the truth will set you free. You need to tell people, hey. Smoking's wrong, drinking's wrong, cussing's wrong, sexual sin is wrong. All the the gay, demon, deception, perverted stuff is wrong. 
uh, the, the non-Christian religions are wrong. They are pagan. They are evil. They'll take you to hell. Sin will take you to hell. Uh, drinking alcohol is evil and wrong. Uh, don't get tattoos. It's satanic. It's, it's, it's pagan. It's animistic. If you have them, tattoos, uh, pray over them with someone to an agreement. Cast any demons out of them, off of them. And, uh, but don't get any more. Don't be stupid. You know, it's pagan. It's animism. Every, every, you know, <laughs> Christians in Asia, in Africa, and uh, tribal people around the, what are South America, Asia, they know that the tattoos, in the Pacific Islands, whatever, they know the tattoos attract demons, that, that they're witchcraft. Tattoos are witchcraft. And that's it. There's so much deception. Uh, I can't believe it in the Church of the United States. Um, see a lot of it in California. Uh, a lot of people believe getting a tattoo is a you witness for Jesus. It's witchcraft. The flesh profiteth nothing, but it's the Holy Spirit and the anointing that gives life. The anointing is good. It's the Holy Ghost in you, on you, and working through you, not your stupid, you know, pagan. It, it's crazy. Jesus said, Matthew 24, the biggest problem in the last days is deception. He says, take heed that you be not deceived. Paul talks about Christian people, they are deceived themselves and deceiving others. And so I'll, I'll get into that later. But, you know, drinking alcohol, drinking wine is satanic and evil and wicked. Every witch doctor around the world uses uh, wine and alcohol, uh, wine, beer, hard alcohol, wine. It's all wine. It's all alcohol to uh, to get in touch with their demons, to do their uh, uh, um, uh, satanic witchcraft and stuff. So witch doctors drink al wine, alcohol, all of it, to, and smoke uh, cigarettes and cigars to get in a demon to do their uh, uh, witch doctor stuff. Hello. And so... Um, but anyway, but anyway, you, you get to tell people the truth. Uh, fornication, adultery, pornography, uh, premarital sex, whatever, um, is wrong, it's evil, it's destructive, it's dangerous. Tell them to tell the truth. Uh, letting your kids just date a bunch, uh, whatever, uh, by the flesh and all that is dangerous. Public schools are dangerous. Some people can't see it, they're blind. Well, their heart's not pure because the pure in heart will see God and know the truth. You can't put a Christian children in, in public schools. It's too wicked. It might have been okay in the 40s or 50s. It's not okay now. Since the 60s and all that mess, it's, uh, and the universities too. Non-Christian colleges, universities are very destructive. And that's it. I don't care what you say. You believe your lies. Um, that's why you're having trouble. That's why your life's a mess. That's why you're limited and blocked. Um... But anyway, you got to tell people the truth. Tell them the truth. Uh, just, you know, this is what they need to do to change. But so many people, they will not tell the truth. Why? They fear man. They would rather offend God. They're, they would rather offend God than take the chance of offending a human by telling them the truth. Well, if the truth offends the person, then the person is not secure and the love of God and the um, and the gospel and, the, and connected to Jesus and the family of God, uh, you know, the Father, Son, Holy Ghost and the family of God uh, by, by believing in Jesus and making a covenant with Jesus. When you do that, you don't, you, you quit um, trying to rely on your own fake, evil, warped, uh, uh, fake righteousness, works, trying to act perfect, false righteousness, but you are secure in the righteousness of God that's given to you as, when you, when you believe in Jesus Christ, uh, covenant with, make a covenant with Jesus after you heard the gospel and you trust in him only to save, heal, deliver, help you, protect you, give you value, give you acceptance, give you whatever, then you don't have to, the whole world has their own form of false righteousness to try to be accepted, to try to be cool and, and, and not be rejected and, and, and try to, you know, look good and, and get ahead by putting on this acting perfect, trying to look perfect, all this fake, Jesus said no one's good. You're not good. On your best day, you're no good. You're not good. Uh, you, you you have a value in God because God made you and wants to, and Jesus died for you. But in, in, in your own works, you are stinky, rotten, you know, filthy uh, rags and just trash. You're a mess. No one is good. The flesh profits nothing. The only way you're good is when you connect, 
covenant, make a covenant with Jesus and, and trust his imputed righteousness to you, and that's it. Now, when you're secure in him, you can confess your sins and flaws and faults, and then pray for one, you know, get forgiven and forgive others, and you be forgiven, and pray that you may be healed and delivered, uh, James 5, 16. So you got to tell people the truth. Hey, this is wrong. You can't be sinning like this. You can't be doing this. You must tithe or you're, 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 you're cursed. Um, you, you can't be cussing and drinking and smoking and acting stupid and foolish and whatever. You got to live right and proper, sober, vigilant, holy, godly, proper, and fruit of the spirit. You can't be living in the works of the flesh or you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Don't be deceived. Amen. So you tell people the truth so they can get free uh, or, or, you know, people are controlling their, 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 um, mean, rude, hard hearted, or they're just fearful and all this mess. You got to tell them, get out of that fear. First, first thing that gets you put in hell is fear. Get out of unbelief. Tell them you're in unbelief. Let's get out of it. Let's help you get out of it, but get out of it. Tell them the truth. So they know where that this is where you're really at. You believe in lies, you believe in deceptions, and it's going to keep limiting you or destroying you or limiting your progress, limiting your your health, your your money, your blessing, your all this stuff. Get it out of your life. But tell them the truth first. You, you, this is wrong. You're wrong about it. And, but let's get it out of you. Get healed, delivered, cleansed. I'll help you repent, help you overcome it. But tell them the truth. But most people, I see a lot of Christians, they won't tell the truth. They let the big old elephant stay in the room. There's the you know, thing they won't talk about it. They won't deal with this hot potato. Well, it's hurting and killing and damaging people. So it's wrong. It's wrong. Church, Christian people, church should be where there's the most truth on earth. But you know, sometimes the, the people in the world will talk about more real things and they'll be tr they'll, they'll admit it, like the emperor's new clothes, little kid, and then they'll be working on trying to get solutions and answers, although in Jesus, in the gospel, in the word of God, in the Holy Ghost, in the anointing, in the power of God, we have the answer, yet we will not deal with, uh, not not me, but a lot of Christians, you won't deal with certain things because you have sh it's shame. You got to get healed of shame because you still have unhealed shame and rejection. It's un unhealed experiences of shame and rejection in your life that hurts you. And there's demons attached to it. So you try to act perfect. You try to act perfect and act. Oh, I'm perfect. I never make a mistake. I won't. I can't admit a mistake. So in it because if you do, you'll think you'll be rejected. So then you're in the devil's stronghold and deception of 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 own. Righteousness, uh, self-righteousness, works, acting perfect, perfectionism, which is a deception. You've got to get in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And, and so you can confess, hey, I'm wrong about this. I need help here. You know, all, whatever, whatever. And then pray with people that you may be healed and delivered and made right and then made strong and you'll be secure. And then you can make progress in every area. Otherwise, you will not make progress. You will stay stuck or you'll go backwards. And that's it. Truth makes you free. You know, Isaiah talks about God's people trying to take refuge in lies. Sometimes you think if you lie to yourself or lie to other people, it seems safe to you, but you're trying to make a refuge of lies, but you you are connecting with demons when you believe a lie or you live in a lie or you live by a lie, you know, And uh, but you have to admit the truth, receive the truth, repent so you live the truth, and then tell other people the truth because the truth will set you free. Amen. That's it. So this is vital. This is huge. This is this is so important. It's all over the place. This has to be dealt with. The fear of man that brings us there. Uh, fear of rejection. Fear of shame. It's rooted in shame and rejection. Abandonment, separation. But um, but if you're if you you know in, in Jesus Christ by you heard the gospel, you believe the gospel, you 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 covenant with Jesus, uh, and He connects you to the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Um, in the kingdom of God and heaven and all of it, you, that your help comes from the Lord and he's your number one source of everything, then you can quit trying to hide and lie like Adam and Eve over there hiding, afraid from, of each other, blaming each other, afraid of God, over there believing a lie because they're connected to the liar because they eat the knowledge of good and evil. Um, get out of that and get back into, get over here in the truth. Be secure in God's acceptance and love and care and help and his righteousness and his he cares for you. If, if when when not if but when people reject you and hate you, so what? God's with you. God accepts you. He's with you. He loves you. He accepts you. He's helping you. And the the evil, stupid people that reject you, God will replace them with good people. 
like, like that are like him, that are his real people, that will love and uh, receive you and help you, help you work through things, and you help one another overcome. But people that sit there, hey, act perfect, act perfect, act perfect. Hey, let's put on our masks. One, two, three, four, five, masks. Let's act perfect. Everybody's perfect. I, I, don't admit sin. Don't admit a flaw, even though it's obvious you got sins and you got all kind of flaws. You're controlling. You're fearful. You're, you're a manipulator. You're in unbelief. You're in fear. Fear, 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 fear. Uh, you, you know, just uh, self-righteousness, acting perfect. You, you, you know, you think you're better than people. You won't admit your, all your mistakes. And, and many things you're blind to because the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Who could know it? There's so much stuff down in your heart you can't even see because the Bible says you can't even know your own heart without the Holy Ghost and the Word of God and other people that are full of the Holy Ghost and the anointing of God and the gifts of the Spirit and the Word of God and they know the truth and they see it and they got you got to tell each other, man, this is wrong. Here's a blind spot. If you can't see it, it's a blind spot. But if you're just ignoring it because of fear, you don't know what to do or you know pride or self-righteousness, trying to act perfect, trying to act whatever, Get out of that mess. It's shame, and you don't, you know, you, you don't want more shame because of the pain of it, and rejection. So you try to act perfect. No, that's all evil. That's all the stronghold. Second Corinthians chapter ten of the devil. Get out of it. Get it out of your life. Get it out of your church. Let the church be full of truth. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. The kingdom of God is a, is a kingdom of freedom, love, acceptance. Yeah, yeah, you're accepted, but you don't stay in your sin and your junk. You know, iniquity, sin, deception, lies, you get, you, you confess, repent, and get out of it. Repent, 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 until you conform to the image of likeness of Jesus Christ, and so you get all sin out of your life, so you don't go to hell, you can go to heaven. That's it, but you got to confess and your sin and, and pray for one another, that you may be saved, healed, delivered, and transformed. But that's it. But people that are afraid to confess, or tell, tell someone, hey, you're wrong here. This, you got to get this out of you. This is bad. It's bad for you. You're hurting yourself. You're hurting other people. You got to tell the truth because the truth sets you free. John 8, uh, 32. Um, and, and then, and then they can, they can also must confess, speak the truth. Yep. I have a problem here. This is sin. This is wrong. I'm, I'm struggling with this. I have fear. I have unbelief. I have sin. I have the, whatever, you know, what, what fear, rejection, insecurity, insecurity, insecurity. Most people confess it and then pray for one another, find the roots, what caused it. Pray it all through. It could take time. could take days. might take a minute. might take weeks. might take months. might take five minutes. might take a year. So what? Get Dig it out till you get it out. If it's a big tree, it's going to take a long time. If it's a little weed, you pull it right out. But if it's a big old tree, you have to dig and dig and dig that thing out. But that's the way it is. That's a fact. That's just the way it is. Um, some people understand this. Some don't. But if <laughs> until you get these things out of you, you're not going very far. You might go forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, up, down, up, down, hit a ceiling, and you'll say, you know, Whatever. This is it. Truth. Truth. Don't be afraid to speak the truth to yourself. Admit the truth to yourself. And then repent of where you're wrong. Speak the truth to others. Help them repent and get out of it so they can become free, cleansed. And then ha 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 insist that your life, your family, your church is 100% living in truth. When you find something wrong, confess it. Help one another overcome it. Cleanse it. Heal it. Deliver it. So you're walking in more truth, walking in light, not in darkness. And then help others, but tell others. Hey, and if people offended, oh, you told me I'm wrong. Well, shut up. Get out, get out of that mess. Are you saved or not? Are you born again or not? Are you in the righteousness of Jesus or not? Are you in the love of God or not? Are you in the acceptance of God or not? So you be secure in God. If you feel insecure, get it out. So you can be solid and, and stable, not unstable, not double-minded, not unstable, but secure in the love of God, the gospel, the acceptance of God, the help of God, the righteousness imputed to you. And that's it. Get out of fear. Get out of shame. Get out of lying and hiding. And tell the truth. You need to get over this. This is wrong. It's hindering the anointing. It's hindering your health. It's hindering your, your prosperity. It's hindering your relationships. It's hindering your relationship with God and with people. Get it out. Get in the truth. So confess. Pray for one another that you may be healed. That's it. This is some of the best teaching you've ever heard in your life. It is true. It's the word of the Lord. This, this stuff has to be dealt with. It's one of the biggest things you'll see all over the world. But, but what I'm saying will help you. This is some of the best teaching and truth and revelation knowledge you've ever heard anywhere. You won't hear anything better anywhere than you're hearing right here. This will help you overcome. You, you'll improve in your health, your money, your finances, your relationships, your marriage, your family, your whatever, your future, your progress. I'm helping you get unstuck 
and, and, and get right and good and proper and godly and live in, in, in your potential in, the, in God and the kingdom, kingdom of God. So help us out. This is great teaching. Best teaching you'll ever hear anywhere. Help us out. Loving Life Ministries, int.com. Loving Life Ministries, int.com for international and called beyond.com. Send us an offering. Help us out. If you don't have a uh, church or if your church isn't teaching you uh, good stuff, then send your tithe to us. The Bible says in Malachi 3, send your, uh, Malachi chapter 3, send tithe to the storehouse. It doesn't say local church. Storehouse is where you get supplies, where you get help. I'm giving you help to overcome, to live, to, 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 to grow, to overcome. I'm giving you truth and power, uh, uh, anointed words of truth, uh, to overcome. So help us out. Tithes, offerings, whatever. If your local church is giving you good stuff, then give your tithe to them, of course, yeah. But if, if you don't got a church or you're not getting any power and truth from your, then send to us. Help us out. Uh, we're doing work all over the world, and we're helping to save precious, wonderful America. And uh, just help us out. Loving Life Ministries, int.com and calledbeyond.com. God will bless you, 30, 60, 100 fold. Plant a seed with us. We are good ground. God will multiply your seed sown and give you a harvest. In, in all these areas, look at Second Corinthians chapter nine. Read, learn for yourself. God blesses thirty, sixty, hundred fold. Uh, you know, give it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. With the, the measure that you give, it should be uh, measured back to you. Thirty seed time and harvest. Thirty, sixty, hundred fold. You plant the seed, God will bless you with a harvest. And uh, and we could talk more about finances or look at some of our videos on finances. But um, but help us out. God will bless you. I'm giving you good teaching. And uh, it's your duty and responsibility to help us, uh, or, else, or else you're stealing. It's an honor system here. But I mean, God will judge you one day. It's an honor system. You, you're getting blessed. You, this really helps you, and it does because it's right. Then send us an offering, tithe offering, whatever, and help us. And God will bless you, and then keep helping us because we're good ground. Amen.